everybody? Are we live? I think we are. I never can tell. Hey, it's Jim Bull, Brat Magazine. How y'all doing with your weekend race report? Brat Magazine, bratmag.com, weekend race report. And you know, this weekend we're talking about Brapomania. Okay. Hey, you know, I can never tell when this thing starts going. I can't see. I, I got to get glad. I, there you go. 24 seconds in already. Look at that. And I got a lot to talk about. Brapomania 2, Bud's Creek, Maryland this past weekend. What a weekend it was. Need a haircut, right? Hey, anyhow, um, <laughs> I lose my th thought train, my thought pattern. Surprise, surprise. Right? What a weekend, Brapomania 2. I didn't get to go last year. You know, Rusty Rusty Bradford, RMB Racing, Sean McMillan, Brapstraps, these guys last year put, they came to me at Motor and said, we're putting this Brapomania deal on. It's like, it's going to be really cool. Uh, and I was already booked, man, for the weekend that they picked. I was already, you know, I schedule out uh, you know, way in advance, and I got organizations I work with for years. But I tried to line up a photographer, and then it rained. It rained. You know, last year it rained a little bit, remember? And uh, they had to re-postpone that event or reschedule that event. And my photographer guy couldn't be there. And I couldn't be there because I was, you know, like I said, I get booked way ahead of time. But they came to me this year. I went to them and said, look, when's your race? I want to be there. And it, it, different concept. You know, a lot of people didn't know what it was, what it was all about. And I really didn't know till I showed up. But I, I knew it was going to be good, right? Okay, so, and if you were there, it was good, right? Okay, if you weren't, you should go next year because I'll probably be at Brapamania 3. I'm, I'm betting. So, anyhow, here's the deal. Brapamania. Two-day event, Bud's Creek, Maryland. Jonathan pushing the dirt back on the track, slowly but surely. All right, it's getting good. Getting gooder. Getting gooder at Bud's Creek. All right, anyhow, Saturday, you know, and God hooked us up again, Mother Nature, whatever you believe in, you know. But Friday, we drove down there. Friday, it was supposed to be raining all day. And, it, you know, we got there and sat up, and it, it rained some, but it wasn't bad. The wind blew. It was windy. But uh, woke up Saturday morning, beautiful, beautiful day. And part one of Brapamania was Billy Schlag, Billy and Nancy Schlag, they started the Sprint Cross Country Series this year. Now that's they're doing some some hair scramble racing and they're doing some Moto GP racing. This weekend was the first round for them for their Moto GP round three, but Moto GP. And what that was, they took some of the Buds Creek motocross track and they took some of the woods at Buds Creek and came over to two point eight mile course and everybody go right. Okay, they broke down different motos, different classes, and different motos. And uh, I, I don't have like four or five classes for each moto, right? Twenty to thirty minute motos depending on your skill level, uh, pretty much the same track. There was one section where uh, you could take the Enduro Cross or the easy route, okay? And if you watch my live video, you'll see some of the Rock Garden and things like that. That was good, good stuff. And uh, But anyhow, good racing, man. People really loved it. It's like 30 minutes go and uh, two motos, yeah. Yeah, two motos. And then they did this Iron Man thing, right? Uh, my buddy, Jimmy Barry, his hands were like all swelled up. But he won it. You had to run three different classes and two motos in each class. So that's six 30-minute motos. Okay? Through the woods, through the rocks, through the into the trees, over the track, the grandmother's house we go, right? Anyhow, congratulations, Jimmy Berry, pro motocross racer. Ended up Iron Man on the weekend. Bunch of great classes. I got pictures. We'll post them in the blog here. Check them out. Before I go any further, sponsors. I always forget... We talk about sponsors all weekend, you know what? And you can't forget about your sponsors. Sponsors for this Brat Mag blog, Brat Mag Weekend Race Report. Uh, Kevin Crying Classic coming up. Bam. Kevin Crying Classic back at Bud's Creek, October 11th, 12th, 13th, 2019. You can see the web address there. We'll put links in the blog. Going to be another fun weekend of racing. Check that out. Uh, who else is sponsoring this? Ams Oil, Rebellious Synthetics. Mitch from Sim Rebellious Synthetics came on board with us this year. We ran Amzo years ago, and we raced great, 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 great stuff. You don't need, yeah, check it out. I'll put links, all kind of stories. The new Brat Magazine got a big article about Amzo in. Check it out. And Pro Action Suspension, Reese Firestone, authorized Pro Action Service Center since 1999. Pro Action, New Jersey. Reese moved a couple times. I had to think where he's at. He's in New Jersey. I'm getting old, man. You think I hit my head a couple times. Anyhow, I told you this is going to be a long one. Check out Reese. Get your suspension down in. Cody Shock. As a, as a pro action guy, all right, and Cody, let's get into part two of Brapamania. Bra Brapamania, what a day, man. Rusty and Sean, Rusty Brapstraps, uh, uh, Sean from Brapstraps, Rusty R&B Racing, they went together, got a ton of sponsors, put a, it's just a fun ride day, all right, they broke the classes down, there were 50 classes, there was uh, 65, 85 combined, uh, there were some vet classes, there was AB combined, CD combined, 
uh, threw the women, the vets in there, here and there. But you got to practice. You had, like, practice all day long. And then we ran one moto each, okay, one six-lap moto each, four laps for the 50s. Uh, and, and the pro-am, or I don't want to call it a pro-am, it's not a pro-am, the all-star race, $4,000, okay, to win. Well, not to win, 2500 to win, 500 per second, 300 per third, and 100 bucks the next top seven guys. Had a ton of dudes in the house. Cody Shock came the whole way from New Jersey, Meadowlands, qualified for the night show out there, way to go, Shock Rocket. Okay, Cody took it to him, man. Logan Leitzel pulled the whole shot. Uh, Cody got around him on the first lap. He uh, ended up running the lead the whole race. Uh, Jeremy Smith came in second. And uh, local boy Jake Runkles. Jakey, I've been watching him since he was a uh, 50cc racer. Uh, took third overall. So uh, we'll have uh, more results from that race coming up later. But um, it was good fun, man. It was just a good day of fun. It was like 30 bucks to, to sign up. You got to practice all day, race all day. And the amateur guys, they gave away swag like you wouldn't believe. People were carrying boatloads of stuff out of there. Speaking of boatloads, we got stuck in the Harbor Tunnel. Check out some of those pictures on the way home in Baltimore. I got to do things in the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel I can't even tell you about on live TV. And you know what? It was on my bucket list. I want to walk through the Baltimore Tunnel. My wife, she freaks out. We got drive through thing. I got to, well, never mind. Anyhow, I can't tell you what I did in there, but nothing bad. I'm just the Brap captain, right? Anyhow, Brapomania, I'm sorry. I get carried away with myself, all right? Brapomania 2, great event. Thanks to everyone who put it on. Thanks to all the sponsors. Thanks for all the racers that came out. I'm going to put links, blogs, pictures, all that stuff like I normally do here. Check it all out later.